Hey everyone, it's Kayla. Welcome back to my channel or to my channel if you're new here. This is definitely going to be a different video from what, you know, I normally film. Um, one that I wish I never had to film. So bear with me through this. It's definitely going to be different, but, and please understand that, you know, I'm going to be talking about some stuff and maybe showing some pictures that you may find uncomfortable. So just go into this knowing that this is going to be a hard topic and um, let's jump right in. So I'm not going to go into too much details about the car accident itself. Obviously from the title of this video, you're aware I was in a car accident. Um, I was hit head on by an individual. Um, I don't exactly know the reason why he, you know, so basically I'll start by saying this, you know, you have your two lanes going this way or whatever. Um, if you're from Louisville, you're aware of what Westport Road is, then, you know, you have both directions of traffic along with the center lane that can be used for merging. And he crossed over that merging lane into my lane and I was hit head on. Um, it unfortunately was fatal for him and you know I can't change that nothing can be done to change that and I'm it's hard because you know the accident wasn't my fault but still obviously it kind of feels like it was um, but you know that happened um, that was on January 29th. Currently, it is March 26th. So I was rushed to the emergency department, ER, whatever, hospital, the trauma center in Louisville, at the University of Louisville. And um, I found out that my left collarbone clavicle was broken and my right wrist was broken and I think two different spots, maybe a third. Um, it was also dislocated and it required surgery. So they did surgery on that on March 30th. Um, I also had a concussion, so, you know. It's definitely a hard topic just because as far as the accident goes, it all happened very quickly, you know. Physically, it's hard, along with emotionally, physically, you know. I was placed in a cast, obviously if you break something and they did surgery on it, you need a cast. So, uh, I was in a cast, I just got that removed on March 20th, so it's been a few days. I'm now in this brace, this brace can come off. And I will show you all. So um, here's kind of, I'm not going to be able to show you too well, but you know, I have, they did surgery here along with right here. Um, and then I have to wear this a lot just to, you know, keep it. I'm not very mobile, obviously. This is about as far as I can move it comfortably. You know, you have normal wrist, range of motion, and then, you know, that. So that happened. Um, I start occupational therapy today, so hopefully that'll help things get back to normal. Uh, obviously for schooling, you know, my car was totaled. I'm gonna put pictures on the screen and stuff of everything. Um, my car was totaled and I don't have a car right now, so I and I honestly don't really like driving that much just because, you know, last time I drove, I got hit by a car and almost died. So, you know, I'm not in s physically in school. I'm still technically a full-time student. Um, I've dropped two of my classes. I originally had six and now I'm at four. So I'm still technically full-time, but I am um, doing it all online. It's definitely challenging. Um, after the accident, you know, 
broken bones, my stomach was really bruised, I had a concussion, my glasses broke, I was very cut all over the face, you saw that from the pictures, um, my two front teeth were chipped, thankfully I already went to a dentist and they um, like filled it and polished it and everything, so physically I'm definitely getting close to where I used to be, not necessarily like I'm going to be there in a month, it's not how it works unfortunately. This will probably take six months because it's, you know, a place where you don't really want to do surgery unless you need to and there was no reason to. And then this, obviously, you know, surgery on anything you're going to require rehab to get you to where you were. Um, so physically, definitely getting there. It's hard. Mentally, it's definitely where, like, the struggle is because... When anything bad happens, you don't want to think about it. You don't want to talk about it, or at least that's how I am. I like to keep everything to myself because I don't want people to know what's going on. I don't want people to know, like, I'm not okay. And it's definitely hard to talk about because, you know, your life. Your life changes in the blink of an eye, basically, and you don't get to do everything normal. Like, I'm 18 years old. I'm a freshman in college, so I don't get the normal experience. Um, this is something that will, unfortunately, maybe one day I'll be grateful for it live with me the rest of my life and it's really hard but I know like everything happens for a reason so I'm trying to trust the process and trust that everything will be okay um I have a lot of supportive people around me you know friends and family so that's always nice because I know I have people who I can go to and um everything and you know, I'm also in therapy so that's helpful and um, I was on medication for a little bit to help with anxiety it wasn't really working so I just went off it did I still have anxiety 100% almost all day every day I don't like being in a car I don't like hearing sirens or like seeing police, firefighter, EMT, any of those, just because it just brings back everything from that moment and I don't want to relive that moment. So it's definitely hard, you know, I have chest pain from anxiety. Looking back, I'm so grateful that the injuries, mental and physical, well, mainly physical, but that also impacts you mentally. I'm very grateful for the small amount of injuries I faced. I'm grateful to be alive. I'm grateful, you know, I can walk, I can talk, I can breathe, but it doesn't make it any less hard. So, and I don't say this, make this video to like, be pity. I don't want that. I say make this mainly just to open awareness for like, it's okay to not be okay. You don't have to have it all together. Whether you're 18, whether you're 50, you know, everyone's going through something and you don't know that. You don't know what their situation is. You don't know what all they've been through, what scars they have, whether it's physical or mental. So be kind to anyone, you know, around you. Um, if I could go back and change it, I would obviously, but I can't. So from this point forward, I'm trying to focus on just choosing to see the positive in the situation and it's very hard to because it doesn't feel like there's a lot of good 
from such a bad situation. And do I necessarily know what that good is right now? No, but I found, or I've actually had this quote for a long time in my room on um, my mirror. If you all have ever seen, I have this like floor length mirror and I have two little quotes that I got from the tourist shop when me and my parents were on vacation, but one of them is about love and then the other one is, it says, go forward in life with a twinkle in your eye and a smile on your face, but with great purpose and heart. And that's by Gordon B. Hinckley. I don't know how, if that's how you pronounce his name or anything, but I'm trying to choose to see the good but also be the good because it's easy to walk out of a bad situation and do bad things, say bad things, but there's no excuse for, you know, those actions. You're a human and it's okay to be human. That's beautiful that you're human, so be a human, but also don't live your life choosing to see the negative out of a bad situation because you're never gonna find the positive. It's there, I promise you it's there. What you look for is what you're gonna find. So whatever situation or season of life you're in right now, find the good, find the beautiful, find the joy because you don't know when it'll go away. So and obviously there's more to the story that I'm not in a mental place to talk about yet. There's a lot, you know. I'll try to keep you all updated and hopefully most of my videos will be more lighthearted, but I want to bring awareness because the reality is like, you don't know what's gonna happen. Life happens, things happen, bad things happen, but so do good things, so. I hope you find the good things and go day by day, step by step. We're all in this together and life is hard, but you got this, I got this, and I wish you all nothing but the best. Um, I'll keep you all updated as far as this whole situation goes. It's definitely a sensitive topic, so be nice if you're gonna say something in the comments but yeah i wish you all nothing but the best and i hope you all have a great week um just live live your life and enjoy it but that's all i have for you all i'll keep you all updated and everything else that i can think of check out my instagram i did a post about it that this shortened version of everything I just said, basically. Um, and, you know, we're all going through this together. So, I hope you all have a great week, and I will see you all next week. I'm glad to be back for sure. It's going to be a rocky road, but we're going to do this together. But thank you all for watching. Thank you for supporting me and sticking through this even when I couldn't post. You all are amazing and I'm so grateful for it. But I love you all and I will see you next week. Bye.